Hey guys, it's Dan, your host here, Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead throwback review. So this is going to be for The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 6, called Live Bait. Now I'm sure people are going to be like, why are you reviewing an episode of Season 4 of The Walking Dead, uh, Episode 6 also, just, you know, it's such a random episode. Well, the reason why I'm going uh, going back and doing this review, and uh, probably going to continue on as well, uh, you know, until The Walking Dead returns, is because... And I'm going to explain a little bit before I get into the review. This summer, because uh, I started this channel on uh, in September of 2016. That was around the time that Season 7 came on. So I did all my reviews of every episode for Season 7. I did all my reviews for all the episodes of Season 8 so far. But I haven't reviewed from Season 1 all the way to uh, Season 6. Well... This summer, or, you know, last summer, uh, you know, in 2017, I was doing reviews of from Season 1, uh, all 6 episodes, all 13 episodes of Season 2 are reviewed, all uh, 16 episodes of Season 3 are reviewed, and then I reviewed the first 5 episodes of Season 4, and then I had to stop uh, just because of all, of all the other stuff coming on, like... You know, uh, the finale of Fear was coming on, uh, and there was Walking Dead Season 8, and there was all this different stuff. So I had to stop the reviews uh, with internment. Uh, that was uh, Episode 5. So what I'll do is I'll link my, uh, you know, Season 1 reviews in the description, and my Season 2 reviews, and Season 3 reviews, and uh, what I've had so far are my Season 4 reviews. Now, I also have, you know, the rest of this season to go through, Season 5, and then Season 6. So I don't know if I'll be able to review all of that during this break. It might... You know, maybe season five and six will be, you know, spilled into uh, the summer. You know, so uh, like after Fear the Walking Dead or even during, you know, as Walking Dead content. So really, really cool stuff. Very, uh, very cool stuff. Uh, and I think it's just great uh, because once I'm done these reviews of the rest of season four, the rest of season five, and the rest of season six... I can have reviews of every single episode of The Walking Dead. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out other reviews, you can. You can basically check out any other reviews. So um, that's pretty cool, yeah. So uh, this is just basically the continuation of that, picking up after this summer. So now let's get into the review. So this is Season 4, Episode 6. Yeah, real throwback, I know. So this is uh, the episode where after five episodes of dealing with the flu... We, uh, at the prison and everything like that, we finally get to see, after the f uh, finale of season three, where the governor is at after he mowed down all of his people that wouldn't listen to him. So, um, you have, uh, basically, it, it starts off with Alan, uh, dead, right? And you have him who's making sure everybody's dead. Of course, Karen wasn't, though. And you have everything else going on. You have, uh, the governor who... Sleeps in a mini tent, like, even smaller than him. And, uh, basically, when he wakes up, Martinez and Shumpert are gone. He is aimless walking. He's been on the road for about five to six months. Um, during the time skip from season three uh, finale to season four premiere, he's been out there on the road, and uh, he's not having a good time. You know, he, you know, you think he's about to die. You, you know, he's falling. He destroys Woodbury, everything like that. Then he sees, uh, you know, um, I was about to say Penny. Um... And then he sees, uh, you know, the little girl, right, in, in the window. And uh, then he goes to the apartment building, and basically he finds uh, Lily and Tara. So this is the first episode of Tara, which is really, really cool. I really enjoyed seeing that a lot. So um, you see that happening. Um, they talk, right? And, you know, the governor's, you know, he, he barely is talking. And, you know, and, you know, Tara's being really, like, harsh with him. You know, she's... You know, she's pointing the gun, she, she, she won't put the gun down, and, uh, you know, you know he, he doesn't want to bother them, so he finds his own place in the apartment, but they keep kind of, not bugging him, but they keep coming at him, um, and, you know, he, you know, he bonds with the little girl, which I thought was cool, he was bonding with her, you know, as if he has a daughter again or something, it was just really, really cool to see, um, they're playing uh, chess, uh, and it's just, it's really cool, it's really, really cool to see. Um, now, I think this episode, though, does suffer a little bit, because I think because it's only our villain character in an episode, and you don't see any of the good guys, uh, well, Tara, really, but, you know, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, really, it's like, mm, I don't know about that. You know, that's that's the one thing. I wish they would have shown a couple clips at the prison, you know, maybe just, just two or three, you know, that would have been fine. Um, instead, they did the whole episode uh, with uh, the governor. I, I thought it was good, but I just... 
I don't know. It, it, it didn't need to be a whole, uh, you know, two episodes. That's the thing. Yeah. So, um, and that's part of the reason why I stopped reviewing too, because as these episodes right here with the governor, it's just kind of hard to review. It really is. Um, so he, uh, he, you know, then they decide, well, they're going to have to leave. And, you know, I like it because, you know, the guy, he's dying, right? The old, the grandpa, right? And then the governor just shows the villain side where he kills the walker, scares Tara. And it's just this moment of like, whoa, who is this guy? You know, this is, this is not Brian. You know, this is definitely not Brian finds the name on the uh, wall as he's traveling. This is not Brian. This is the governor right here. This is the governor. Um, and, you know, I, I like um, what uh, the actor who plays uh, Martinez, when when the governor kills Martinez in the next episode, right? I like that the actor who played him, he's like, this this not, you know, Blake, uh, or this is not, you know, Brian that killed him. This was the governor again, you know, and it, it really is, right? So, anyway, so then, so we move on and we have uh, them who are traveling on the road, you know, and they're just kind of making it day by day, you know, you know, you think we'll make it, we'll make it. You know, not too sure of himself. And then uh, we have uh, some walkers and come. He tries to, you know, save the little girl. So he's like, come here. And she, she won't, she won't, she won't come. And then eventually she thinks about it. And she's like, okay. So then the governor's running with her. And then Lily and Tara kind of separate a little bit. And the governor and the little girl are together. He falls into the pit, right? And he starts killing these like three or four zombies in these brutal fashions with, you know, the stick and, you know, the jaw and everything. It's just... Oh, it's so cool, man. It's so, th those were some sick walker kills. My favorite one is, you know, when he grabs the neck, you know, it's just, oh, it's so brutal. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. So anyway, this, this was a really cool episode. And then Martinez finds him in the pit at the very end when he says, cross my heart, I will keep you safe, right? To the little girl. So, um, that's just, that's, that's really crazy. Uh, Megan is her name, I believe, right? Um, just crazy stuff. We get the introduction of Tara. I didn't think she would be such an important character when I first saw her, you know. Um, just a great, great, uh, you know, uh, sixth episode. Even though I think it does suffer a little bit because you don't, it's just your villain character leading an episode. That's not always the best thing to do. However, we have not seen him for the first five episodes. So in a way, it was like, it was kind of cool. And I like the theme of this first half where... You have tons of episodes focuses on the on this group, and then you have two episodes that focus on this group, and then in the mid season finale, you see both groups finally meet again, and you see the purpose of why it was two episodes here and then five episodes here, and then in the mid season finale, it all kind of makes sense, you know. So when you see that last battle between Rick and the governor, so definitely I like All Out War more than you know Rick and the governor. However, this was a very memorable time in the series. So really cool stuff. Still like All Out War better, but uh, anyway, cool stuff. So I will do my review of uh, Dead Weight uh, probably either later on today or tomorrow uh, or I don't know, some point in time in the next couple days or I'm not sure, you know, but uh, really cool stuff. Can't wait to review Too Far Gone. That's an episode I'm really excited to review. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.